What's up everybody? Awkward Anxious Jennifer here. Today I am coming at you from the Brazoria National Wildlife Refuge in Southern Texas. <clears throat> kind of uh, not too far from uh, Galveston. And um, I've already, of course Google took me to completely the wrong place. So I've already had to backtrack. I spent some time going down a gravel road, which is always fun in a subcompact car. Um, had to stop at one point on the gravel road because there were three birds. I couldn't tell quite what they were. They kind of looked like crows from far away, um, but then when they flew they didn't really look like crows. But there were three crows just sitting in the middle of the road staring at me until I very slowly got close enough that they decided to fly away. So that was weird. It felt like they were guarding the entrance to the refuge. Um, I just pulled into a public fishing spot, and I don't fish, but I wanted to see if I can... This will be my first stop, I think, trying to get some good footage today of hopefully some birds and maybe gators. I don't know what kind of wildlife all they have here. Um, I don't know how much I'll talk, because uh, I don't, you know, right here I'm in a fishing spot. I don't want to bother the people fishing, and obviously I will need to be quiet if I want to get some good wildlife um, shots. So that's what I'm up to today. Uh, as far as I can tell, the latest guide guidelines suggest that outdoor activities are generally safe. You know, still practice social distancing. Um, you know, you don't want to get up too close talking to uh, people outside your family. But uh, wildlife refuge sounds like the perfect activity to do right now. So let's go see what I can see. Alright, I have so much sweat in my eyes, I can't particularly see, but I can see the sign saying caution alligators present. So, let's 
let's see if we see any or if you see any oh so much sweat in my eyes just realizing I forgot my visor in my car
So I saw this cute little picnic bench area, but I will not be sitting in there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, kind of. They're just swarming with bees. No, oh, thank you.
So I just have this cute little picnic bench area. But I will not be sitting in there. Don't know if you can see them. Yeah, kinda. They're just swarming with bees. No thank you. stop and spend a few minutes by the beach on my way home while I could. Um, so anyway, this is part of the free beach access where I tried to spend my first night in my car, which I'll link that video, or not my first night sleeping in my car, my first night doing free, free camp night. Um, I'll try to remember to link that video somewhere. Uh, but really all I did is pull off the main road. I didn't make it to the beach because it was pitch black, totally foggy. Couldn't see where I was going. Uh, and never really actually made it to the beach that day. Well, not the beach right part. I didn't anything else there. Anyway, this is just one of the many free access points uh, to the beach here on Galveston Island. And uh, yeah, I forget the exact rules, but you can camp here. Um, you know, sometimes there's some people over next to me uh, in an RV just camped out. So I don't know if it's for what, 14 days or what, but yeah, um, I don't know what to say, but there's the beach. I hope you enjoyed some of that uh, awesome footage of the birds and the beach and whatnot. Um, I had a really great day today. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling tired and kind of sun beat, but it was a good day. So I'm hoping I can do more of these. You know, there are actually a lot of uh, refuges, and, um, like wildlife refuges and um, state parks and things like that around here. So hopefully like, you know, one day a week um, throughout the summer, I can go see those things and take some video and whatnot until it's safe to go do inside stuff again. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I still have to edit this video that you're watching. So I'm gonna go do that now. And um, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.